Yeah, the Delta variant. So uh, with COVID, um, any sort of uh, living thing can mutate and change. Um, and part of that is a result of what, we, what is called the natural selection. So, um, for example, bacteria, you know, if we treat them with antibiotics, they, be, they can become resistant uh, to uh, antibiotics. That's how they survive and keep growing. Uh, with viruses, um, uh, they, when they infect people, they can also develop uh, changes in them. And those changes can uh, make the virus behave differently. The Delta variant is a, is a type of COVID that has changed. Um, and uh, it is different from the original strain of COVID in that it appears to be much more contagious. The uh, original uh, strain of COVID that we saw back in uh, January of last year uh, could infect on average two, perhaps three people uh, for every person that's infected. Uh, with the Delta variant, uh, it appears that it is much more contagious and one infected person can infect between six and nine people. So mm -hmm. it's dramatically much more contagious than the, the original strain that we saw a year and a half ago. In addition, it appears that it, it's a more virulent uh, virus, meaning that uh, it harms people more than the original virus. Mm -hmm. And a study was just published out of the UK uh, this week uh, that looked at how often people were hospitalized when they were infected with the original strain versus Delta. And it appeared that uh, Delta causes uh, hospitalizations to occur twice as often if infected with, um, with uh, the Delta variant. So it's a, a double whammy in the sense that uh, one, it's much more contagious and so more people can get infected. And then secondly, um, it's, it's more virulent so more people end up in the hospital compared to the original strain. So uh, this is borne out by what's happened across the world. Um, the Delta variant caused a lot of harm in India where it first originated. It rapidly mm -hmm. spread to other countries, including the England and now currently in the US. Uh, there are a number of variants that exist with COVID and they're all named after Greek letters. So they're alpha, beta, uh, gamma, delta, lambda, et cetera. Uh, and Delta, because it's so contagious, rapidly took over and is now causing 99% of infections in the U.S. And mm -hmm. due to its increased contagiousness, as well as uh, likelihood of causing hospitalization, what we're seeing across our country is that uh, huge numbers of patients are being admitted. And we're seeing this primarily occur in areas where the vaccination rates are low. So for example, in the southeastern U.S. Uh, are really getting inundated. Uh, we've also seen uh, fairly dramatic rises on the West Coast, although at sort of smaller numbers, but still large numbers of patients becoming admitted to the hospital with this Delta variant infection.